Okay, so let's have another example here. Let me uh, uh, let me read the problem. So I'll do this in my one note. Uh, the velocity of a particle as a function of time is given at the right, so, or actually given below. Assuming that the particle is initially at the origin, catch the position time and acceleration time plus of the particle. Ito medyo matrabaho to. Kasi we are given the velocity time graph, not the position time. So yon. So okay. So here, here's uh, here's our problem. In my one note, the velocity is given by the following. Um, uh, wala na to. Ang papagawa ko lang, ang gagawin ko lang ngayon ay yung C. Sorry for that. This is not part of the problem anymore. So letter C na lang. Mag-sketch na lang tayo para madali. So yon. So let me re-sketch it in a larger um, scale. So ganyan. So I have a straight line plot uh, that looks like this. Straight line. Tapos increasing R, increasing, and then decreasing. Something like that. Tapos, um, ang important intervals dito ay t equals 5 seconds, t equals 9 seconds. <laughs> Parang ano na realistic ito. Sandali ah. <laughs> Sorry na, na OC ako. So, um, 5, 9, and 13. So, at t equals 5, ganyan yung itsura niya. From t equals 5 to t equals 9, ganyan yung itsura niya. Again, this is now velocity time. Hindi to position time. And this is the third one. So this is again my VT graph. So what we want is the acceleration time and the position time. Ang unahin ko para madali, I'll first determine the acceleration time. Okay. Paano? Paano kayo determine yung acceleration time? Paano kayo hanapin yung acceleration time? Paano kayo hanapin yun? So first, ang gagawin ko, since lahat naman to, linya lang, so we expect that the acceleration is constant. Remember, for the VT graph, the slope of the tangent line is the acceleration, not the velocity. Kaya nga VT graph eh. VT graph, ang slope niya ay acceleration. So what I will do first is ano unang, unang gagawin? Anong unang, unang, unang ginagawa? Divide. Divide. Yes. Hatiin mo muna into different regions. Yan. Edi gagawin ko, magdodrawing ako ng dash lines. Diyan, di ba? Drawing ako ng dash lines. And then, after that, let's um let's uh, label this as, etong region na to, ang velocity ay 20 meters per second. Etong region na to, ang velocity ay 45 meters per second. Tapos yon. So, I'll label my points as, let's say this is point A, point B, point C, and point D. So, note here na, since these are lines, the average value of acceleration equals the instantaneous acceleration per region. So at AB, lahat ng acceleration dyan pare-parehas lang. Kasi linya yan eh. Hindi, kumbaga, kung ano yung average of pinoy at any two points, yun lang din makukuha mo at any given point. So, so therefore, the, acce the average acceleration is equal to the instantaneous acceleration at each point. So, so yan, Eddie. After that, so I'll first determine what is the acceleration from point A to B. Ano yan? No? This is a constant. Therefore, this is just what? Ano lang yan? Zero. Zero. Yes, zero. zero. Tama. The acceleration at point A to B is zero. What about the acceleration at point B to C? Constant positive po. Positive. Constant positive, so what's the value? Ang tanong, anong value? Kaya important itong example na to. Because dun sa previous example, hindi nagbibigay na values. So, this is just an added example, by the way. I added this. Wala to sa slides. So, wala sa binigay na slides. So, sure ako. so yan. How do you determine it? Remember, as I said, the average acceleration is equal to the instantaneous acceleration. Therefore, use the formula for your average acceleration. Delta V, delta T. Ano nga hanapan ko? Ang madaling hanapan, itong point na to at saka itong point na to. Di ba? Which is just equal to what? Delta V, the final velocity is at 45 meters per second at time, sorry, at time 9 seconds. So this is 45 meters per second minus 20 meters per second all over 9 seconds minus 5 seconds. Ano yan? This is equal to what? 6.20. This is about 6.25 meters per second. Okay? Questions? So yan, edi meron na tayong 6.25 dito. What about the acceleration from C to D? 
Note here that the slope is negative. Therefore, we can say that, what, ano yan? Ano masasabi natin dyan? What can we say about the acceleration? We should expect that the acceleration is negative. So, um, well, it decelerates. We will see that it actually decelerates because positive pa rin yung velocity values dito, pero negative yung slope. Therefore, it, it's, it is decelerating. So, yan. A from C to D is just delta V, delta T. This is from B to C. This is from C to D, which is just equal to what? It ended up to be V equals zero. So, final is zero. Initial is 45 divided by 13 seconds minus 9 seconds, which is just equal to what? It's equal to negative 11.25 meters per second squared. Nawala yung acceleration per squared yan. Okay, so yan yung sagot for A from C to D. Okay, questions? May tanong ba? Tanong nakuha yan? Again, Kaya ko tinin-consider lang yung mga endpoints. Pansin niyo di ba endpoints lang yung hinahanap ko? Kasi at any given point at this particular line, at this particular line, pare-parehas lang yung acceleration yan. Because it's a straight line. The average value of that constant is equal to the instantaneous value at that constant. Kaya it's just okay. It's okay just to determine the, the endpoints. Kaya important yung endpoints dyan. You'll also see that later. Okay. Nakuha na? So how do you plot it? So, paano may pa-plot ngayon yung acceleration time graph? How do you plot your acceleration time graph? How do you plot your acceleration time graph? Paano may ipa-plot si acceleration time graph? Okay, we know. Again, kanina di ba naghati tayo ng values? Kanina naghati tayo ng values. Therefore, Ganun dali yung gagawin natin. Hatiin natin yung acceleration time graph at the same region. So, at equals 5, at equals 9, and at equals 14. So, hatiin na natin yung ganyan. Pilihin natin kung ganyan. Ano na mangyayari? What will happen? So, one region. So, at from t equals 0 to t equals 5, what can we say about the acceleration? Zero po. Wala. Yes, zero. So, dapat, uh, saan ngayon yung graph? Saan siya dapat? Nasa T-axis. Nasa T-axis. So, sayang di ako makapagbago ng ano dito. Ng color. Yan. So, ganyan siya. Sorry. Kinapalan ko lang eh. Yan. What about at equal, from T equals 5 to T equals 9 seconds? What can we say about the acceleration? Ano siya? Positive. Positive. Positive, yeah. positive pero ano siya? Increasing ba? Zero ba? Hindi niya pataas ba? Nasaan siya? Constant po. Constant at the positive A axis or at the negative A axis? Positive A axis. Yes, at positive A axis. So parang ganito. Tapos, this is at 6.25. Approximations lang yan. And then what about the time from 9 to 14? Negative so A. Negative. negative A. So this is negative 11.25. So nandito siya ngayon. Minus 11.25. Ganyan siya. At alubat na ako. <laughs> okay, so yan. So negative 11.25. Okay, questions dito. Nakuha? Ngayon, paano yung position time? Ito yung masaya. <laughs> um, I might over time. So for those who have classes after, um, you may go. Uh, this is just also part of the recording. Pero yeah, I just want to show you how to plot a velocity, uh, a position time from the velocity time. Okay, sige. Now, what about position time? What about position time? Okay, for the position time, ang mangyayari dyan, as I said, given the velocity time graph, ang position time, ang position ay area under the curve. So as I said, find the area under the curve at this uniform regions. Ito, like this one. Tapos hanapin ko dito, this one. And hanapin ko dito. This one. Okay? May tatlo tayong regions. But, ang point dito ay, if we want to determine, so, may tatlong regions ka na interested. So, first, x at t equals 5 seconds, x at t equals 9 seconds, and x at t equals um, 13 seconds. Okay? So, at x equals t equals 5 seconds, ano lang yan? Ano lang yan? 
Ano yan? How do you calculate it? So, how do you calculate it? So, so yeah. So this just squared, diba? So we have 20 times 5, which is 100 meters. We are assuming that initially the particle is at rest at the origin. I'm sorry. We are assuming that the particle is initially at the origin. Hindi at rest. <laughs> sorry for that. So yeah. So this is 100 meters. Ngayon, ang x equals, uh, at equals 9 is simply ganito. You need to add what you got from x equals at equals 5. So this should be x at equals 5 plus the area of the property. So area under the curve from t equals 5 to t equals 9. Tama? Ganun siya, ganun siya dapat. Huwag mong kakalimutan itong square na to. Kasi ang hinahanap mo ay displacement mula sa origin papunta dito. Not just this area under the curve, not this one. Okay? Hence, ang mangyayari dyan we have, so this becomes what? 100 meters plus, um, 100 meters plus uh, um, 9 minus 5 times 20. So this is the area of the, so pwede mong isipin na to na, Pwede mo hatiin yan into 2. So you have your square here. And you have your triangle here. So meron kang 20 by 5. 9 minus 5 is from time 5 seconds to time 9 seconds. Plus yung triangle na 1 half. 9 minus 5, 20. Okay? i sorry. This is not 9 minus 5. This, this is not 20. This should be 45 minus 20. That is the triangle from... V equals, 20, v equals 20 to V equals 45. Ganun siya. Okay. Ganito na nga lang para madali. Copyahin ko. Wait lang. Let me copy this. So, para kita natin. Ayan. Dito ko na lang itabi. Ayan. Makikita? Ayan. Kasi palipat-lipat ako. So, when we do that, X at T equals 9 seconds is just 230 meters. That is the answer at equals 9. So, dapat makakarating na siya ng, ng 230 meters. So, and, yeah, explain to you bakit ko kinukuha yung mga points na yan. Kasi madaling nang hanapin yung nature ng curve uh, after we determine the value of the position at the transition points. So, and then, at x equals 13, it is the x at equals um, area under the curve from t equals 0 to t equals 13. So this is just equal to x at t equals 5 plus um, uh, so look ko na lang lahat. So this is 100 meters plus um, um, plus uh, 9 minus 5 20 plus 9 minus 5 over 2 times 45 minus 20. So yun yung trapezoid kanina. Plus may triangle pa tayo na 45 times 13 minus 9 all over 2. Ang sagot dyan ay 320 meters. So isa nang galing itong mga itong numbers na ito. Ito yung sa square. Ito yung sa trapezoid. From so yung isa ay from 0 to 5. Yung isa ay from 5 to 9. At itong pangatlo ay mula dun sa triangle from 9 to 13. So ito yon. This one, this one, and this one. So, yan. Yeah, nakuha mo na. So, 320. So, meron kang tatlong values ngayon dyan. One is at x equals um, 5. The other is at x equals um, this one. The other is at x equals 9. And the third one is at x equals um, uh, 13. At x uh, at equals 13, sorry. So, paano may plot yan? Eh, gagawin ko, magpa-plot na ako. Ganyan lang siya. Medyo malaki siya. So, Ganyan. So, this is T. This is X. So, umabot tayo ng 320. So, by 50 na lang to. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350. Yan. So, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yan. Ngayon, ang susunod kong gawin, balik ko ulit ako dun sa mga regions ng divisions ko. So, at equals 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Gawa ko ng dash lines dyan. At equals 9, 6, 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Gawa ulit ako ng dash lines dyan. And 10, 11, 12, 13. Ayan. Now, okay, balik tayo dun sa example. So, kanina, 
dito sa curve, from zero to five, anong nature ng ano? This is a horizontal line. Therefore, what can you expect from the vertical line? Ay, so, what can you expect for the for the position? Kung linya, kung horizontal line, positive slope, ay, sorry, kung positive ang um, line na ito, ng velocity, what can we expect about the position? Di ba dapat increasing siya, increasing siya, pero constant slope, di ba? Tama? Yes. Tama? Yes, exactly. So in that case, we need to draw a line joining the origin and t equals 100. This is the curve for t equals 0 to t equals 5. And then for second, from 5 to 9, ano nangyari? Yung linya increasing for the velocity time graph. But, so therefore, what we expect for the position time graph? Ano siya? Positive velocity, di ba? And it's increasing. Ano siya dapat? Positive curve, sir. Positive curved, so curved upward, curved downward. No? Curved upward. Curved upward, exactly. Now, alam mong curved upward, tapos darating siya sa 230 meters. Kaya importante yung transition points. Kasi alam mo na dun siya papunta. 150, 200, 250. So this is 230. Ay, sorry. This is 230. Paakyat, curving, upward. Straight line, curve upward. Now, lastly, for from 9 to 13, we get a negative, or I should say, sorry, decreasing pero positive pa rin na slope pa. I'm sorry, positive pa rin na value ng velocity. Decreasing, positive value of velocity. Therefore, what can we say about the the uh, the, the the position time curve? Ano mangyayari sa kanya? Curve curve downward. Siya, it's curved downward, pero nasa positive values pa rin. And pansin mo dito, umabot siya ng zero. Therefore, we expect that the, the curvature will peak at t equals 13. Magpipik sa t equals 13. And we expect that since ang value ng, ng position at t equals 13 is 320 meters, ito yun, and di ko, and din gawin natin, papuntay natin siya sa 330, something here, something here, ganyan. Tapos, doon natin siya ipipik. Ganyan. That is how you plot your position time graph from the velocity time graph. Oh. Questions? May tanong ba rito? Diego, raise a hand. What's your question? Uh, sir, ano lang po ito? Medyo may kinalaman dun sa formative quiz. Pero may ah, okay. term... Sige. Um, may... So, uh, is this related to this topic? Ah, uh, yes po, yes po. Tatanong ko lang po, kasi hmm. yung kinumpute po natin yung mga position, yan po ba yung tinatawag na ano? instantaneous position? Yes, that's the inter instantaneous position at um at this particular point. We can also call it displacement kasi it's the displacement from the origin. Okay pa. Gets, gets. Thank okay. you. Yes. Other questions? Nakuha tong questions na to? Nakuha tong paano mag-curve, mag-graph from position time to, uh, from velocity time to position time. Okay, so, um, so yun, if there are no more questions, thank you very much for attending this session. Next, tomorrow we will have our discussion for um, kinema uniform kinematics. So, uniform accelerated kinematics. So, what if the acceleration is constant? What are the, are the equations that we can obtain from that? And we can solve a lot of problems using where, with the assumption that the acceleration is uniform in a, 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 for, for a particle moving in one dimension. So, yun, kung wala nang tanong, thank you very much. And I see you all tomorrow.